Hey guys, I got my Hubson X4. Just purchased it. Actually, just got it for Christmas. Uh, great little drone. Um, got some spare parts, luckily. Some spare bodies, some spare props. I recommend flying this thing if you're first learning how to fly these drones with the protective ring there. It protects the props. Um, but I actually, mine dropped out of the sky and I cracked one of the arms right off the old body. So now... I am uh, using my spare body so basically you have to pop it open with uh, these very small screw screws so you get a jeweler screwdriver um, Phillips head there's two screws that hold the body together then there's two screws that hold the circuit board on then there's um, four screws that hold the battery case in and then that's it uh, so basically what you got to do you crack it open take the battery case out um, unscrew the circuit board probably before you unscrew the circuit board I'd recommend using a solder gun heating up the little solder points for these leads here these are the motor uh, motor wires you have to disconnect these unsolder them from the board and then you could pop the motors out um, from the little holes there on the arm you pop them up through the top so I used something to push from the bottom pushed it out from the top uh, grabbed it pulled it out and pulled the wires through with it then um, you put the motors into the new body push them in through the top pull the wires out this little hole here on the bottom and then you fish them through and kind of tuck them in once you solder them back, back on tuck them in neatly in this little fissure there um, definitely take a picture of the board before you uh, start working once you open it up before you disconnect the original motors so you know where to solder the leads back onto um, sorry losing focus here so basically once that's done, the motors have popped in. I put the little rubber caps back on, the little rubber feet, just to help me hold those wires in place. And now I'm about to solder the wires back on. Once I get them soldered back on to these points here, I'll screw the board back. Actually, I may screw the board back down first to hold it in place. Solder the wires back on, screw the battery compartment back in, and um, pop the case, the bottom of the case back on, the bottom of the body. You also have to pull the LEDs out. Now the LED lights you don't have to um, unsolder. They can slide through here and then they just pop out through the top. But the wire is not through the same channel. So it's easy. You can just pull that out once you take this cap off. Um, it pulls out from the outside. Those wires are here. You can barely see it there. And it just slides out of the channel, the LED. And once you take this rubber cap off, you can pull that wire out this way and around. So you don't have to disconnect those. You don't have to unsolder from the board. But you definitely do have to unsolder the motors. And make sure you remember which motor goes where. Because some spin clockwise, some are counterclockwise. So make sure you uh, have the orientation of those motors. I'm sure by reversing the polarity of these wires, if you made a mistake putting them in, you could you could change your rotation anyway. But it's easier to do it right uh, the first time. Alright, so I'll get this back together. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. Any uh, questions, just leave them in the comments there. I'll see if I can help you guys. This is the first time I'm doing it too, so I'm learning as I go. All right, that's on 2020.